Welcome to Science News Tonight with your host, Miss Shelley, and your co host, Miss Shelley. With sports, we have Miss Shelley. And covering the weather, we have Miss Shelley. Now, here's Miss Shelley. Hello, and welcome to Science News Tonight, the only news source with a little picture of my dog Ronnie in the corner. It's been a busy day for news, right, Shelley? It certainly has been, Shelley. In our first story, this tornado isn't in Kansas anymore because it's in Missouri. To all of our viewers in the Show Me State, be careful out there. This violently rotating column of air just touched the ground. So be sure to get inside, listen for any tornado sirens or alerts on your TV, radio, or smart devices. That is scary stuff. Everyone be careful out there. Now, let's turn to sports where our Chicago Bears were playing the Green Bay Packers. How'd the game go, Shelley? Well, the game actually got canceled due to a thunderstorm that came off of Lake Michigan right over Soldier Field. For everyone's safety, they called off the game a few hours before the storm front rolled in, allowing everyone to stay home and stay safe. That's too bad, but I'm glad everyone was able to stay safe. Me too, Shelley. And in a shocking turn of events, even though the game was canceled, the Chicago Bears still found a way to lose to the Green Bay Packers. Oof. I wish I could say I didn't see that one coming. Let's hope we have some better weather coming up. Let's see what meteorologist Shelley has to say. Well, I wish I had better news for you, Shelley. This being Chicago in the winter, we've gone straight from a thunderstorm right into a blizzard. We've been tracking the storm the last few hours, and our best estimate is that it will reach Chicago around 4 p.m., just in time for the rush hour traffic. We've alerted the city and they've deployed their snow plows and salt trucks to help out with the snowy road conditions. Back to you, Shelley. Lucky for me, I have an hour commute home even when it isn't snowing. As you may know, our field reporter, Shelley, hates the cold. So as a treat, we sent her to Florida to catch some sun and give us some warm weather tips. Shelley, I hope you packed your sunscreen. Well, things have not gone to plan for old field reporter Shelly. A hurricane just came in off of the Gulf of Mexico. Thankfully, due to TV, radio, and phone notifications, residents were notified well ahead of time. They've been able to prepare their houses for strong wind and rain. It doesn't seem like there'll be much damage, just a lot of water. Back to you in the studio. Safe travels, Shelly. I hope you get a minute to hit the beach. Our top story tonight is the extreme weather taking place across the United States. The United States is a huge country that can have every type of weather imaginable. In the South, there is an extreme heat warning requiring people to stay hydrated and stay out of the sun. In the Northeast, we have an extreme cold warning telling people to bundle up and stay inside. No matter what the weather is, we will always do our best to predict what's coming so you and your family can stay safe in any condition. Well, it looks like my car is already under a foot of snow, so I'm going to hang back and watch that miraculous bear's loss. Stay safe, stay informed, and stay classy. This is Science News Tonight. Michelle,